Hello there, Angela. Okay, I'm sorry for the disruptions. Uh, hopefully we can get it sorted very soon. We're working on it. Um, so the developer is away till Monday. But, so in the meantime, I'm stepping in. Anyway, let's have a look. Nowadays, there is a public debate over the measures introduced by government on making healthy food more attainable for the population. Certain people strongly believe that the best solution is funding of fruits. I wouldn't have said funding. I said subsidizing now you're right usually it's not the best idea to take words directly from the question however if we use them in a different version instead of subsidize we say subsidizing yeah and also we're just aware of it so we're not using it all the time and later we use variations but unfortunately this variation we cannot use best solution is subsidizing fruits or is the subsidizing of fruits and vegetables or the best solution is subsidizing fruits and vegetables whereas others whereas comma others passionately advocate for imposing taxes on junk food okay my opinion the overwhelmingly best outcome can be reached only through subsidization of healthy products good these are the variations that I'm talking about. Excellent. Okay, so I hope we have, and it's, I'm guessing we have because you've got quite a coherent introduction. I'm guessing we have body paragraph two, taxes, body paragraph one, subsidizing food. That's the logical order in the question. So it would be logical to follow that in your pa paragraphs subsidizing of the subsidization of fruits now what other ways because we've already said it twice different versions okay um, what else could we say instead well let's see um let's see the government um the government could lower the costs of fruits and vegetables um, and this would make the prices more affordable yeah okay or we could say the governments could uh, send payments directly to the growers yeah the, the government sending payments to the growers um, would would make prices affordable for a sheer amount of people okay a sheer I would research this and maybe write out like 20 sentences with the with the word sheer okay um just to, just to get a feel for it because here we've used it incorrectly okay the prices will make the prices affordable for a large amount of society yeah or a large amount of people is fine as well as a consequence individuals will willingly change their eating habits and prioritize quality the quality of products over the price while choosing them so this is a big sweeping generalization and the error is because we've used will we need to hedge the sentence so what we should say is as a consequence individuals would most likely change their ha eating habits okay because you know we could have apples and bananas and vegetables for for free and people would still eat chocolate i'm pretty certain you know um so there's always that argument when we say will it's like 100 percent of the people will change their habits and we don't know that um so in academic circles they could always say ah but this would happen so and then you could counter if you'd have hedged you said that's why i said almost all people yeah would willingly change so it just gives you that margin for uh, maneuver this measure will be significantly beneficial particularly for low income families okay so here because we've used particularly i would have said this measure also i would have again avoided using will and use would this this measure would be significantly beneficial for low-income families or would be would be significantly beneficial for low earners comma particularly low-income families 
or for families with many children where the budget is usually limited for providing a healthy diet. A healthy diet. Um, excellent here as well. Is usually, is often limited for providing a healthy diet. Great. The drawback of this, pro, of, of this approach Okay, so we don't need that, worth mentioning. Or if we did really want to mention it, we could say one drawback of this... Okay, although it is worth mentioning one drawback of this approach, but in my honest opinion, that sounds more like spoken English rather than academic English, because we could just say although, yeah? Although the drawback of this approach is that the additional expenditure government should provide for the welfare of a healthy generation. So I would have put this at the beginning, okay, and then we end with your argument that subsidization of food is a good idea. It's clear, that's what the majority of the paragraph says. So we could say, although it would be expensive, there would be benefits such as health and um, financial benefits, okay, such as the health aspects and the financial consequences. And then we would explain the financial, just like you did. Uh, sorry, then we'd explain the health and then the financial, just like you did. And then finish with a summary statement. Now we have this format for you in the online course and it's really straightforward. Moving on. Supporters of the opposite idea lobby for fighting against unhealthy food through taxation. Okay, great sentence. Just be careful with the use of articles. Okay, according to them, high taxes will would would force junk food producers to increase the prices of their products to avoid financial losses. Okay, so if there were taxes the price would be increased, but it wouldn't be the food producers increasing their prices. It would be the government increasing their prices, you know? So it's like, I don't know, $1 for a chocolate bar, the government adds a 15% tax. Now it's $1.15. The food producers stayed the same price, okay? If anything, what usually happens is that the food producers lower their price so that the tax so that their product isn't doesn't increase by 15%, maybe just increases by 7%, for example. Anyway, as a result, a considerable number of people will would avoid spending money on expensive and unhealthy food. Okay, however, we should admit that this development may have a negative impact on unemployment rates, as some companies will be forced to file for bankruptcy or lay off employees to safeguard their business from huge losses. Great. So here, okay, we've got two arguments, all right? Um, but I wouldn't have gone this way, okay? Because I'm, I have to reread it to figure out, like, okay, are you in favor of this tax or are you against it? Like, what's what's the deal here, you know? If you'd have just given me sort of like, Maybe one side say it could financially damage the companies. However, um, let's see. Yeah, I could say, however, so this is how I would have done it if you wanted to put this conjunction at the beginning. Okay, um, supporters of taxing unhealthy food um, may, may consider or may want to consider the financial impact on the companies and then develop it a little bit and then say, and then finish with what you really, like the main point of your paragraph, which is it would benefit people because they'd avoid spending money on expensive and unhealthy food, okay? And then just finish with a summary sentence. Um, yeah, but just be careful when we've got these conjunctions in here because it's kind of like you're going down one direction and then all of a sudden you switch directions and it's like, well, what is the final position of this writer? Yeah, whereas if you just kind of like put a little conjunction at the beginning and then f spend the rest of your time in the paragraph developing your argument, giving examples, 
That's another thing that this par both paragraphs miss. A real world examples, okay? And then a summary sentence, I think you'd see a big improvement. In conclusion, it is obvious that governments or the government should force some immediate measures to ensure a healthy society. To my mind, despite the increase of state expenditure, good, the best solution to this issue is the funding of healthy food. Okay, we could just delete this issue, yeah, and say the best solution is the funding of healthy food. Or oh, again, is the direct financial help for financial to, to make financial to make healthy food more economical for a population instead of increasing taxes on processed food. But that sentence it gets a little bit longer, so you probably need to reorganize it. But overall, Angela, you're doing fantastic. Um, sorry again for the hiccups with the essay checker. We're going to get it up and running soon. If you've got any more questions, let me know. Um, if you want more essay corrections like this, you can go to ieltspodcast.com um, essay correction service. Yeah, just put that into Google, ieltspodcast.com essay correction service. And you can buy a pack of essay corrections if you want to, um, or you can carry on working with these. Another possible solution would be to start with the online course. Yeah, and you can use the formats and all the tutorials and then start getting feedback from this. So if you did the online course version, you've got two routes. You can use the $300 one with the speaking, writing, feedback included, and you work through the course. Or you could just get the online course. Um, I think we're selling it for $50 at the moment, which is crazy low, but that is just without any essay corrections. That's just like the, the tutorials. Okay. Um, have a super day and keep me updated and when you get this uh, sorted. Okay.